Screw you guys. I'm going home. What's up, fools? We're back today with our $300 home theater steam machine. As you can see, we've got it all set up and running in my son's bedroom. He was nagging the hell out of me to get it done, so I was a little bit rushed. But as you can see, it's basically all done now, and the kids are loving it. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to create a disk image in Clonezilla before we install Windows so that we can restore the machine at any time back to Steam OS Linux if we ever need to do that. So, to go ahead and do this, you're going to need a USB drive loaded with Clonezilla Live. Refer to the video description for a link to how to create one of these for some reason, the 64-bit version of Clonezilla Live wouldn't boot for me, so I had to use the i686PAE version. We also need a USB hard drive that we store our cloned image onto. I've used an old 250 gigabyte USB drive that I had lying around the house. So first up here, we're going to see that we are going to boot up the Steam machine and go into the BIOS. To get into the BIOS, we had to hit the F2 key when the machine booted up. And here we're going to go ahead and set the primary boot device to the USB instead of the Steam OS. Okay, with uh, the Clonezilla plugged in, the USB key, we're going to go ahead and just select the first option, the default 800 by 600, boot into Clonezilla, accept the default time zone, accept the default uh, key mapping, and we're going to start Clonezilla here. Then here we're going to go device to image local device and we're basically just saying hey we're turning on that usb drive that we're going to save our stuff to here it's showing us the list of available drives okay and here it's just scanning the partition table here we're going to mount a location that we're going to store our images to in this case it's going to be sdd1 and we're going to use the default location. We're going to select beginner mode because we're noobs around here. And here we're going to do save disk because we're going to basically create an image of the entire disk. Give that image a name. Okay, and we're going to pick a disk that we're going to clone. In this case, SDA, which is our Steam machine. We're going to skip file system checking. And we are going to go ahead and check the image to make sure it's restorable later. We do not want to encrypt the particular image. Then here it's going to show you the command line that it's going to execute for you. And it's going to go ahead and ask you, are you 100% sure that you want to create an image of this disk? Uh, and it's going to get started here. So here it's going to go ahead and clone the partition table and all the partitions in it. And uh, this process doesn't take too long. I think the entire uh, disk ends up being cloned in something like two minutes time. Uh, we can see here it's uh, blasting on through and uh, creating our uh, partition images. All right. And we're seeing here's the actual five main 500 gigabyte partition that the Steam Machine is using. We see it took uh, two minutes and 12 seconds to make that image. Okay, so we've got our image created. Now it's going to run through a process to verify the integrity of the, of the image just to make sure that when we try to restore it that uh, it is restorable so we don't have any unexpected problems. We're trying to restore the image a couple months or years down the road and it won't restore. Uh, so it's going to do some checks here to make sure that that's all good to go. So we've got our images made. We're all good. Now we're going to go ahead and plug in our Windows USB key to install Windows. And here we've got the Windows installer. We're booting off that USB. We're going to select a new install. We're going to delete all the partitions out of the partition table. And then once we've got all the partitions deleted, we're basically just going to go through and tell Windows that we want to use the entire disk uh, to install Windows. Uh, no worries here. Again, you've got a full disk image, so uh, you can always reload that image at some later date and it'll restore the partition table and everything for you again. We're going to accept defaults here. Just tell it use the entire disk. And we can see here Windows is doing its thing of inflating all the files. And when that's done, it's going to reboot the box. Here I had a little bit of an issue because I still had that bootable Windows USB key, so I tried to rerun the install. So I had to reboot back into the BIOS and change that boot device from the USB back to the primary hard disk. OK, 
OK. And we see the UEFI Windows Boot is the primary, and then we're going to set the secondary as an internal drive. There it is, USB. Save that configuration and reboot back into Windows. Okay, so it's doing its initial setup here. All right, that's going to start the wizard here, set up the network. Uh, we're good there. And then we're going to use custom settings, turn off all the Windows 10 spyware stuff. Uh, we don't want it phoning home. We don't, don't want it to send GPS. We don't want it to uh, make recommendations. We don't want to automatically connect to networks. Uh, and we don't want the browser to, to do any of that uh, spyware stuff. Okay, so here we're just finishing up the install process here, getting critical updates. Okay, looks like we are all fully loaded with Windows 10. So we're going to create a user account. In this case, we'll call him Cody. And then we're going to set a network password for him and confirm the password. All right. And go ahead and click next there. And we should just be finishing up now. So um, from this point, we just basically went through our usual process of, uh, you know, going, getting all the drivers, installing the drivers, you know, turning, you know, setting the Windows update, changing the UAC, allowing remote access, creating access to admin chairs and all that good stuff. Uh, in addition, we've installed Kodi and uh, we've installed the uh, Steam and the add-ons into Kodi to provide that capability. You can refer back to my HTPC uh, series for how to do all that stuff. So that's pretty much it. I've got it all set up and the kids are loving it. I uh, just wanted to share that update with you guys. Talk to you later.